Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After Etc. And welcome back to another gardening project. So I'm in the same outfit because I just finished planting these pansies. And I decided that since my lamb's ear right through here is doing so good and it is starting to encroach on my planting space up front and on my walkway, <laughs> I am going to go ahead and transplant some of these pieces that are doing so well and outgrowing their area to some of the spots on the right here where it is not doing so great and has kind of died back a bit and see if I can't, you know, transplant those now. I did a bit of that in my spring clean up last year. Um, and I, I'm pretty sure I did film that for you, but it was just part of my spring clean up when I was getting the garden bed, garden bed ready for planting. And so it wasn't a specific video. So I figured if I'm gonna come in here and do this, I'll make a dedicated video on how I divide my lambs here and then place it around the garden. I've done this so many times. When I started, each of these plants was probably about a gallon size. I got 16 of them and they were a gallon in size and I cut them in half and I planted 32 of them all along the front beds of my gardens. And then over the last year, some have done fabulous, some have done not so fabulous, but they've all grown at different rates. These three specifically love their lives more than any of the others. Now there's a couple down here that also look good, but these three look the best. So whatever it is about this spot, killing it. So I'm going to go ahead. I don't know. I, I have other places. So I'm down on the right, some more down around the tree here. You can see this little guy I transplanted last spring. These that are now two or three plants each I transplanted last spring. There's some more down here. Um, so this area, really, the lambs here does really well. Down in the shade, not so much. It's loving the sun around this corner. And I'm guessing that's why these don't do as well, is that all of this grows up, and that spot right there is a little shadier. So we're going to see if we transplant some now in the fall, and that will give it a whole season of rest to establish before spring starts. I'm also not convinced that it's not Biddy. Biddy, that's not a walkway. Mommy's trying to plant there. Come on. She likes to go under the porch and that's her little area. And she, uh, she walks right through there, but she doesn't typically walk through this front path. So I don't know. I'm gonna bring y'all in closer. I've got a little shovel, I've got my gloves, and I've just got an old kitchen knife. Now you can get a much better knife or trowel, or you can even get serrated edged blades that are like a shovel with a blade on one side, which are much better. But these plants are still small enough that this knife works fine. I'm gonna bring y'all in and show you how I do it. It's very simple. There's probably better ways, but this is how my mom taught me to do it. Since it works, there's no reason not to do it. All right, so you can see these three plants here are just crazy big. Whereas the ones over here, struggling. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to come in and take some off the sides. I just planted these pansies, so I really don't want to mess them up. I'm just going to come in real careful. There we go. And what you want to do is you want to find a few places like right here where you can see get down in here you 
this plant has branched off from the mother plant and kind of is its own new section. I'm gonna just clean it out in here a little bit because I still need to do that. You just wanna take all that dead fuzz out from underneath. Giving the plants room to breathe helps them establish as well. I just do this in the fall and in the spring. I'm sure I could do it a lot more than that, but I'm really using my lambs here as a ground cover, so I don't have time to do this eight times a year. So I'm going to come in here, and this little guy separates from the main plant right here. So I'm just going to go straight down, and I'm going to cut through. And then... I'm going to dig underneath them. I'm going to get as much roots as I can from this one section. That's a lot of roots, that's good. So, you can see there is Plenty of roots for this guy and lots of new growth at the base. So I will plant this guy over in the struggling section and he will grow for us. Perfect. And when I'm cleaning out in here, I'm unveiling, uncovering lots of little baby green leaves that will now be able to breathe and grow don't want to do hit up these pansies. All right, so I am now going to take this one out as well. And you mainly are just cutting through that main root. This one has less roots, but still still plenty. So now I'm going to leave that there. That gives this mom a little bit more room to breathe. She's nice. And I could, I think I'll take this guy too because he is kind of new. No, I'm going to leave him. I'm going to leave him to grow fill in right here. I did plant, you can see, well, I can see, I don't think you can, I planted some iris all back in this border. So give those bulbs some breathing room as well. There we go. So now that kind of gives it a little more room right in here. Ideally, maybe I would pop another pansy right here to fill in that new space, but I'm not super worried about that. I don't have a pansy. And I do have a bunch of mascari bulbs that I think I'm going to plant a little row of mascari kind of winding through the back, like middle edge there. So this will give us some mascari space. So now we're gonna go ahead and take our pieces and we're going to go plant them over here. Now here's our pieces. You can see they've got lots of green leaves, lots of growth, lots of roots. Now we can cut all those leaves off, probably cut them back to just these little babies in the middle so that they have less to support as we plant them. But I think I'll go ahead, come down in here, 
can see that this plant has plenty of green on it, but he's just not thriving. Same back here. So I'm going to come back here. I think I'm going to plant one like right here. Actually one right by this mum. I'm just going to dig right here and I'm going to pop them in. guy back. Looks sad now, but he won't have as much green to support and that will help him establish. I'm going to bury him. I think I'd actually like him this way a little more. There we go. That's better. Bring them right up to the base. Got all those roots in there. And he will grow. Hopefully he will help fill in this section. You can see I've got an iris bulb there and there. We planted this guy last, uh, Spring and he's big and pretty now and you can see baby 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 babies so hopefully if I just keep filling in these guys will just keep reproducing until they're as big as that other side but those other plants are only two seasons of growth so in, in a whole season really I would have thought these would do better But you just never know. I'm gonna put one right here. I would like to fill in all around this little area. Oh. Cut this guy back as well. leaves here. Oh, he needs a bigger hole. He's got more roots. Good. I might do two more right in, maybe one right in the middle here and one right there. And then hopefully next spring they will have grown. You can see where there was lamb's ear in here and it's just died back. Don't want to mess up the roots of what is here, so I'm just seeing what I can find in here. There's enough space. And if not, I won't. But typically, if a plant is doing well, a lamb's ear plant, 
it sends off all these little babies. And then eventually, the mother plant, what would have been the central plant right here, will die off. And usually that's not a problem because the babies will fill in. You can't even tell where the central plant, the mother plant was. But for whatever reason, a few of these, these two and one on the other side, are just struggling. Hopefully, that right there will help. Give them a new kind of mother plant. It'll hopefully take over and reestablish the little colony. As these guys grow, they send off roots from their new established pieces. So, okay. hopefully those new four plants will help. And next year, this side will be just as pretty as that side. I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna finish cleaning out these three big lambs ear and taking any more dividings that I can without hurting the mother plants. I do love how they look and adding them in other places around the garden where I want more ground cover, more lamb's ear. So this is the best way I know to divide your lamb's ear and to clean it out for fall and spring. So if you hope you liked this video, it was pretty quick and simple and give you some updates next year, but the neighbors are setting off some firecrackers and a my dogs are very excited about it, huh, Betty? It's also starting to rain. Better work faster. <laughs>